Hey gang, and welcome to another exciting episode of Biology Online. And today we're going to take a few minutes and I'm going to explain and run through how to do our ecology lab. Now you'll find this lab at the bottom of the community ecology module. And once you click on it and open the lab, uh, it does give you some instructions. And at the bottom it gives you a, uh, a web link. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open this link in a new tab. Because this is the web page that we're going to use that's going to be our, our model generator and kind of generate our, um, uh, the, what will happen during our lab. And then we're going to use that uh, information to answer some of the questions. So once you start the lab, the first thing it does, uh, the questions uh, or where the questions would normally be, this is the instructions for the lab. So you'll just read these and when you're uh, done with it, ready to move on, you just click next like you would on a regular quiz. Um, so the first part is again is I, I give you the another I give you the link again just in case you didn't catch it the first time, and then I simply go through and I explain what you'll see, in uh, in on the web page at, at the different things that you'll be using for uh, the different parts that you'll be using during the lab. So here's the food web box. Uh, I explain the different uh, species that are there, and uh, they're color coded. So I kind of match it up a little bit there. Uh, and I tell you at the bottom that note that the grass and the shrubs are, are kind of already selected by default. You can move on to the next question. Again, it just gives you a little bit more information. It tells you what the controls do and what the, uh, the other boxes and charts will be used for. And I actually sum that up in the next step with a little uh, a picture that says here's your reset, here's the run, here's the food web, here's the days. Um, the day box also gives us kind of like a pictorial view of what this environment would look like. Here's the key, and then here is the uh, graphing chart where we'll actually see the data run. Moving on to the next one, it tells you what to do. This is with plant A and plant B selected, and this, again they're selected by default, you're going to click run. And so when you click run, you notice that it runs uh, in increments of one day, and it does this for a total of 100 days before it will stop. And then once it's done running, once this reaches 100, so there we go, we will now uh, uh, answer the questions using this graph uh, to answer the questions that appear on the next page. So the first thing, what, which of the two species did best? Well, looking at this graph, uh, this one looks like it did a lot better. Plant A did a lot better. Plant B seemed to kind of you know, go extinct in this ecosystem. And so you'll simply choose the answer that best fits. You do that for the rest of the questions and then you move on. Uh, this gives a little narrative, a little explanation. Why did the grasses do better than the shrubs? It talks about that. I even give you an, an, an external link if you want to go find out some more information about monocultures of grasses and some of the invasive species that we have here in South Mississippi that are devastating our, na our natural ecology. Um, there's a link on here that, to take us to that. This is about uh, eight to ten minutes long. It's a good little uh, 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 video narrative. So I suggest watching it, but again, it's optional. You don't have to do that, that particular part. So once we finish reading this, we move on. And then it gives us the next set of instructions. It says, uh, click reset. Now uh, we still have grasses and shrubs selected. We're going to add a herbivore into this. So we're going to use the rabbit. And on this one, it tells us to, uh, to, to set it to eat plant A, which are the grasses. So underneath herbivore, in order to turn the herbivore or the omnivores or the carnivores on, you, uh, to, to include them in this model, you have to tell them what to eat. So I'm going to tell it to eat, according to the instructions, this is going to be grass A. Right? So when I put it up there, you'll see that a line now, that the rabbit is now on. A line connects it to the food source I'm telling it to eat. And also it appears on the key. And up here, uh, you can actually see the rabbit on the visual graph. Right? And it says click run, and then after a day's click run again. So we'll click run. Look how much different this graph already looks. And once it gets out to 100 days, we're going to click run again. We're going to run it up to 200 days. So while that's running, we'll move on to the next. And we simply use the information in this chart to answer these questions. So did the addition of a new species change the ecosystem? Well, heck yeah, it did, right? So we would definitely go on this one and, and select yes, because yes, it did. And then it's going to ask you other questions about it. But you'll notice that now you can see that here's plant B, which are the shrubs, plant A, and then here's herbivore A, our rabbits. 
note that if any of the graphs ever get really complicated as more and more species get added on if you can't see something in here you can always click on the uh, the species on the key and it will put a line through it and it'll turn it off visually so you can't see it so that way you can see the things that are under it re-clicking on it will simply turn the line back on and then you'll go from here you answer the questions and then go to the next section this says do not click reset it says add the snail tell the snail to eat what it says tell it to eat the shrubs so we set it to eat plant B the shrubs and then we click run we're gonna run this out to th day 300 and instantly when we add this new species in add in the snails we can see that the shrubs decrease right and there's gonna be some data and some information and again if you can't see one of the plants on here you can turn one of them off so you can see the other and so we can answer the questions that appear on the next on, uh, on the next set using the graph and then when you're done you'll move on there's a little narrative that talks about keystone species um, and then it's going to ask you like don't click reset click herbivore a and we're going to remove it remove it by uh, re-clicking what it's eating and it will take it off when it doesn't have any connections uh, it will remove that uh, uh, that species from the equation and you can give multiple things. You can tell, I can tell a rabbit to eat plant A and I can tell it to eat plant B. I can do that with pretty much everything on here. Um, again, to turn it off, I just remove all of its food sources. Uh, you'll click run. I'm not going to click it. I'll let you do that on your own. Uh, and you can see what happens. You'll answer the questions that occur on the next set. Um, towards the end, the last two things that you're going to do, the last two big things you're going to do, um, this is going to be a little bit more on your part to find, or instead of me telling you what they eat, you're going to turn on all the shrubs, all the grasses, and well, all the plants in general, so all the, all the grasses, all the shrubs, and you're going to turn on the trees as well. And then you're also going to turn on all of the herbivores, so the rabbits, the snails, and the deer. But what will they eat? You've got to tell them to eat something to turn it on, but what's it going to be? With all six of these species, one, two, three, four, five, and six turned on, I'm gonna click reset because it tells us to. Um, I'll set this one to that. I'll set this one to here. So each one is eating one of the species. We're gonna run it and we're just gonna try it and let's see what happens. They are, the goal is we want all six species to coexist for 300 days. So essentially, when I say coexist, no lines can reach zero. Well, in this particular example, guess what? Two of them, plant C and herbivore C, both died off in this ecosystem. So they're not coexisting. Uh, two of the species went extinct in this ecosystem. So this is not the setup we're looking for. So we would simply say, okay, well the deer are dying, let's tell them to eat something else. Do you wanna do A, B, A and B? Like, what do you wanna do? So let's try it, let's just try this and let's click run. We'll do a reset because again we want it to work for 300 days with them all living. So I click it again. Uh, close, right? We're getting closer. More species survive, but in this instance the trees go extinct. Still not going to work. We have to have all six lines stay above zero for 300 days. So in this fashion you'll go through and you'll mix match uh, what eats what, clicking reset in between each one, and then running it uh, up to 300 days in which no lines reach zero for 300 days. And then, of course, you're going to answer the questions. Was You're going to tell me what did they eat? What did you select? Right? There's only one answer that's correct, so as you go through and do it. Now, the last one, you're going to click reset again, and this one you're going to do for all nine species. So that includes the squirrel, um, that includes uh, the um, uh, the raccoon and that also includes the wolf. I'll turn on a couple things for the wolf. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Make sure you hit re reset. And again, for 300 days, you want all nine species: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All nine to be able to survive. This is going to take some time, and I did kind of give you a little bit of a hint to make it easier. I did tell you that the coyote is going to eat three things. And since it's a carnivore, it only eats meat. All right, so connecting the wolf telling him to eat plants isn't going to work. You can't select it anyway, uh, but just know that he can only eat meat. The omnivore eats, at each, each of the omnivores, 
they both eat at least one meat and one plant, and then each of the herbivores uh, um, eats only two types of plants. Mix match it, play with it, run it, run it a bunch. Click reset. If you ever reset, if you ever choose a different food source, always hit reset, and then hit run. When you can run it up to three days with it being stable, then you're ready to go on and answer the questions on the on the last question. Once you've done this, hit submit, send it in, see how well you did. If there's anything you want to go back and, and, and double check, uh, feel free to. Again, you can take this quiz as many times as you need to before the deadline. But this is how we do the uh, the ecology lab that you'll find at the bottom of the community ecology module. If you have any questions, just be sure to email me. And other than that, I wish you the best of luck.